Good morning everyone. It's a very early start to the day here in Santorini and that's because we're going to get a ferry to Milos, an island that's uh, kind of close to here, a few hours away. And we just woke up at 5.30 a.m. Our ferry is only at 7.30 but the bus that goes to the ferry port is at 6.15. It's not every day that we have to already start backpacking like this. No, this the, early. The good point is that we can see the sunrise. Uh, the sky is beautiful right now, but I'm still very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost town. Only us walking around. So we've arrived here just on time, but our bus isn't here yet. <laughs> Where's our bus? arrived at the port now it's called Athenius probably took about 20-25 minutes to get here and this is gonna be our ferry here the majority of the people on our on our bus uh, are going on this ferry I don't know where that's going blue star ferry says Naxos I guess that's going to Naxos here there's barely anybody going on this one to um, to Milos Carol maybe we should just not get on the ferry and stay in Santorini yeah <laughs> we loved it so much yeah, we I'm love. sure we're gonna love the other places too. We need to move on. Yeah. And here's the ferry side view. Zante Ferries. So this ferry is 16 euros per person. 16 euros 50 it cost us. And we just got it at a store in uh, Fira, like a travel agency that buys tickets. I think they just charge like a 50 cent fee or something. You can book it online as well, so whatever. I think you can even book it right here. And that's gonna take five and a half hours to get to Milos. Hello. Thank you. All right, so you have to enter where the, the cars enter. Escalator. Yeah, that's cool. Are we in a shopping mall? Yeah, <laughs> shopping mall or airport. So our ticket says that we're in the upper deck. I don't know if that's this spot. Whoa. <laughs> Is this the upper deck? Might be. It's not full anyway, so I think you can just sit wherever you want. stopped at an island on the way called Eos. I'm not sure how many islands we're gonna stop at on the way to Naxos. So we were considering going to this place. We were torn between this place and Milos where we're going and yeah this one looks pretty nice. The hills there, got a huge uh, beach back there. Also a little beach on this side as well. So I think this is also a bit of a party island known as one of the Greek party islands. So I'm not even sure if this is the main area, I don't see anyone on that beach there. So maybe it's uh, another side of the island. Really is a beautiful island though, very different to Santorini. I don't think this is like a, a volcanic island. So we now stopped at yet another island. I don't even know the name of this one. So I think we stopped at about three overall. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice just to get a bit of a glimpse of the different islands around here. They're kind of similar, the three that we stopped at. And also in case you're wondering, there is like a bar here, like a cafe. They actually have quite a lot of options, sandwiches and stuff, so it seems pretty good. Carol had a big nap. You've been sleeping for like an hour or two. Yeah. I filmed it. And then...
So our first mission now is to find a car rental. We're gonna find a car rental place here. We haven't arranged one and then we'll drive to the area that we're staying. You got the names of two companies, right? With good reviews. Yes, so we'll go there and check out the prices and see which one's best. Yeah. This place already looks nice though. So we got our car rental now, went to about three different stores. The first one charged 60 euros, then the second one I think was like 50 euros, and then the third one was uh, 40 euros. So we went with a 40 euro one. So this is automatic, if you get a manual, uh, it will be cheaper. But yeah, Carol only drives automatic. So it's like a mini little car, Chevrolet, Matisse, and that's with uh, basic insurance. So we still always get asked why is it always Carol driving and that's not because she loves driving all the time. That's because I don't have a driver's license anymore unfortunately. So I learned to drive in the US and my license was tied to my US visa. So when my US visa expired, so did my driver's license and there's nowhere that I can really get one uh, quickly. The only real option is Brazil, but in Brazil I'd have to stay put in like Rio for like two, two to three months. Yeah, maybe more depending on because you need to wait for the test and you never know how many months you need you're gonna need but probably a three four depending yeah yeah brazil's not like the us like us just in a few weeks you can get a driver's license over there it takes months so with our jobs traveling there's just no way for me to get a license so i have to deal with carol driving yes. for a while <laughs> long time arrived at the place that we're staying. Luckily they have a park in here. We didn't know. Oh, this way. Number three. So the apartment that we're staying in is called Corina's Rooms and it was just around $45, which I think is a really good price for the location and Europe. So it is a tiny apartment though. We got two separate beds just joined together. And yeah, tiny little TV. Look at that. It's like a computer screen. We never watch TV anyway. And yeah, AC, which we've only been using for uh, a heater at night. And also got a small little kitchen here. Oh, we can do some cooking with this thing. And I haven't even seen the bathroom yet. Yeah, not a bad bathroom as well. All looks pretty new. And we got a pretty nice balcony view out here so you can see the ocean right here we're right near the beach and there's like a restaurant area there we're gonna eat right now actually we're pretty hungry and this is the village that we're staying in it's called Polonia looks super tiny I think this is just pretty much it just this area here very small so this place is gonna be extremely more different compared to um, Santorini because it's just super quiet barely anyone around barely any noise and I'm not even sure how touristy this island is we only knew about it because we followed someone on Instagram that posted pictures here and it looked amazing so we decided to come but yeah I'm not sure how well known it is how many people come here the sound of silence just with, the birds yeah with some birds <laughs> but yeah it's very quiet I yeah because you don't even really hear cars do you no well, I want to jump in yeah Oh, that is nice. Water's super peaceful as well. Ah, there's the beach there. Look at that for a quiet beach, just like two people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what I call peace and tranquility. The water in Greece, from what we've seen, it's like extra clear, isn't it? Yeah. The clarity. Uh huh. And depending on the rocks uh, on the bottom of the ocean, you get different colors, like in in the other place in santorini we went to a beach which were darker but yeah. i think here they have some pretty blue beaches because they're like some whitey white places white rocks <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, not this part right not now. This there's far, there's some other areas with super white rocks mm -hmm. that we'll check out maybe later on in this video or in the next video. I think that over there is uh, another island, isn't it? We stopped there. Mm -hmm. I think there's two separate islands. So you can stop on that island as well. I think there's also loads of beaches. Lots of options. So we found a nice spot to eat at right on the ocean front here so even this area here it's like i guess a minute away from our place yeah very every, like i said everything's very close because it's a very tiny town so here's the other beach here as well this is a, a bigger beach it seems yeah just a really nice view and this restaurant's called alkis so i think i'm gonna go for this main dish here lemon lamb of milos and that's with rice and potatoes 10 euros there's even stuff for around 8 euros here, much cheaper. And once again we went for the local olives in olive oil. Our favorite starter in Greece probably. And that was uh, 2 euros. So the food has arrived. I've already took a bite of my lamb. It's really tasty, the, the sauce that's on top. You got the rice. The rice here in Greece always seems to be this kind of rice. Like some herbs and these black pieces of rice. And Carol went for the pizza. Mm -hmm. Four cheese pizza. Four cheese. Mm -hmm. and this was uh, 15 euros. Yeah, there's like some big layer of cheese, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. White cheese. Delicious. Somebody else thinks that it's delicious. Yeah, I think Greece is the country that we've seen the most cats. Yeah. They're just everywhere in Athens as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw in Santorini and here now. <laughs> yeah. So that meal cost 40 euros overall, so yeah, really good price because right on the ocean front. We also had some uh, yogurt with honey that I keep getting for dessert, so yeah, all that just for 40 euros. And it's funny, so we were talking about the cats, how they seem well fed. So we saw this cat go on this boat here, and I guess he found fish in one of these nets or something because yeah, he walked out with a fish in his mouth. And then we saw another one that saw the cat secret stash. <laughs> yeah, he and he did the it. same. And did the same. And he walked with a big fish on his mouth. <laughs> it was funny to see them stealing the fish from the boat. Yeah, you filmed one, right? Yeah. I like how the boats look. Yeah, like traditional looking. Nice, colorful little boats, little fishing boats. Now driven just about four minutes from where we're staying very close to a spot called Papa Fragas and this is an example of what we were talking about before with the cool whitish rocks the rock formations this is the reason that we wanted to come to Milos there's lots of areas like this so this place is really cool there's like a swimming area here it's almost like a little canyon or something and then there's also some people swimming through this arch I think there's another spot over there with like a beach area Oh, that's a good shot <laughs> Look at that for an angle Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful Oh, check this out guys, so on the hillside There's like some little houses That's like a window there Yeah, a window here and the front door That's a cool house <laughs> So we're now gonna check out the other swimming area and decide which part to stay in. Someone doing some garden in there, that's the nice. Some ruins there. So I guess you can check those ruins out. 
Oh wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, look at that water. Yeah. Looks amazing. So the other entry, is it here or is it? Oh, maybe it's over there. Look, well, there, there are some entrances here. Like, I don't know if it's a cave or... Yeah, I don't know if you can get down there. Ah, cool. I think we'll stay at uh, this side here. I think this is a side that I saw in the, uh, in the pictures. So there's another area there. Looks easily accessible. And there's like some holes in the rocks there with uh, water beneath as well. Hey, you want to go to this part? Yeah. No, no. Right, let's do it. I think we can just walk around here. Ah, check it out. The beach is pretty much deserted. Like one or two people there only. All right, I went in first last time, so Carol has to go in first this time. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold water. Yeah. Got this nice cliff jumping spot here. That way. Are oh, you going that way? Yeah, because there's a. Okay. Rock here. It's really deep, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's super deep here. Man, wow, what a nice place. All right, my turn. Out, guys, secret beach. <laughs> we didn't even know there was another cave like this. <laughs> so there's like two caves. I oh, can stand up now. <laughs> yeah. We found a secret cave that we can stand up in. <laughs> and this is the secret beach. <laughs> Yeah, you can probably access it from land here as well. <laughs> what a cool spot. Time to enjoy the beach now instead. More comfortable to lie down. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool though, different kind of beach for us, right? Mm hmm. With the rocks. Yeah. Rocks. Like a mini canyon. Mini canyon. So, in the next video, we're actually gonna go to a place that has even cooler rock formations than this place. And this place already looks awesome, so yeah, I'm sure it's gonna look amazing. Mm -hmm. spot of the day gotta go down some pretty crazy little streets here in uh, on this island so it's like pretty much like a one-way lane but this this car's going from the other direction as well so sometimes there's like barely any space but a 
lot of the roads on this island are like this, going inland especially. Some ruins as usual, but this appears to be the way. So we walked around the Greek villages that are like little mazes and now these streets are like mazes as well. <laughs> That's what I was talking about here. Just go slow. Whoa. <laughs> If we go any further, we're going down that cliff, so not fun for us. So this place was recommended to us by the waiter at the restaurant. It's called uh, Klima. It's supposed to be like an old fishing village on the coast. It's supposed to be some really nice buildings, unique buildings. So yeah, we thought we might as well check it out. And everywhere is pretty close here driving around. So I think this only took us about 15 minutes, 12, 13 minutes, something like that. So you don't have to do that much driving around here, but a really nice place to drive. The roads are pretty crazy, but there's not really that much traffic, is there? No, no, you just need to drive slow and be careful and just see if there's anybody coming. <laughs> Wait, but it's, it's okay. It's not bad. And there are buses on this island, but uh, I think it's not very frequent. So, uh, for example, for the, the town that we're staying, Colonia, from the center to the town, I think there's only two buses a day. So if you're going to a beach or something, it's not very convenient. It's better to have a, a car, a rent, rented car or ATV or even a motorcycle. Yeah, or you'll have to get a taxi, but probably be pretty pricey, especially since you'll want to stop at loads of different places. Lots of places to visit around here. It's really nice around this area though. Like super green. Beautiful. Oh, check out all the flowers. The flower garden. All right, so. Yeah, I guess this is the spot, right? Oh, it is different. It's like colorful. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> colorful little fishing houses. Well, still white, but yeah, you just get like the windows and the frames and stuff, kind of colorful. So this is the usual Greek blue, but over here it looks like you got a bunch of different colors. I wonder if these are places that you can stay now. Yeah, uh, I actually saw one here, but it was too expensive. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think it was like 95 euro dollars or euros per night. Oh, okay. And we're staying in a place that is 45. So. Yeah. But you get the experience of staying in a place like this. Yeah, an old fishing house. And you're right on the ocean. You could probably swim here. Don't see anyone swimming, but yeah, you could take a dip. Yeah, really cool though. I guess this is why the guy recommended it. All different styles. <laughs> That's a cool boat beautiful too because we're in like a big bay here a huge bay so on the other side you get these gigantic mountains yeah that's still uh, the island yeah Milos, the still Milos. Island. yeah just curves around i think on that side of the island you don't really get that many houses or villages you can see some buildings here and there but doesn't seem to be any villages yeah so this one here is extra colorful <laughs> red and yellow To be honest, everywhere that we've been so far on the island look like places that we would uh, stay. They're all like nice places. So even on the area with the white rocks, there was like a nice little set of buildings there. And yeah, also a great place to stay. So I think you can stay pretty much anywhere on this island. It's all good locations since it's small. Ah, so walking more to the left, there is actually a sandy part here. Sandy beach area. And over here, there's loads of tables. So I'm guessing there's a restaurant around here maybe just one restaurant for the area yeah so this is probably the nicest area now because you have like the beach places you can stay right on the beach and really beautiful cliff
So that's going to be it for this video. I had an absolutely amazing time exploring Milos and there's still more to come from Milos so in the next video we're just going to get the car, do some more beach hopping, find some more uh, places with cool cliffs, cool rock formations. Also going to visit the old town as well, there's an old town called Placa. So yeah that's the plan for the next video. If you like this one just drop a like to support us as usual. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.